guys, welcome back to Cinti Rally. It's been a while since I've recorded and I just want to apologize to you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me as I deal with this crazy schedule of mine. I just keep finding that it's difficult to sit down and actually make the time to record. But it's going to work this week and I'm putting out a video for all of you. In the spirit of me asking for you guys' forgiveness, this is going to be a little bit of a confessional video. Today's video is going to be all about rides I've never actually done at Disney World. Now, it is important to note that I have only been to Disney World four times in my life. I went once when I was very young, I went once when I was in high school, both of those times were with my family, and then I went twice as an adult with my now ex-boyfriend. So when you hear these major rides that I have never actually been on, uh, it is not because I've been a million times and I've been avoiding them. There are reasons, which I will explain, but I feel like I want to put it out there and kind of confess to you guys the major rides I've never actually experienced. The next time I go back, I do have intentions of trying all of these rides. I just... One at a time. We're all just gonna pretend that my bangs over here are gonna do what I want them to do. We're just gonna pretend they're not flipping in. Before I dive into this list, it is important to note that I have very severe motion sickness. So a lot of these rides are the major thrill rides that everyone loves that I've just never been on, not because I'm a chicken or I've been avoiding them, but I have really, really bad motion sickness and I've just been putting off experiencing them because I know it's gonna be a disaster. So let's dive in. My first attraction confession is that I have never been on two out of the three mountains in Magic Kingdom. Let's all take a moment of silence for all of the happiness that I've deprived myself of throughout the years. I've never been on Space Mountain and I have never been on Big Thunder Mountain. I have been on Splash Mountain, but it was when I was very young. It was on my first trip to Disney World and I have not been on since. So I, I vaguely remember Splash Mountain, but I, I've never actually been on it as an adult. The reason I haven't been on the mountains is because of my motion sickness. It's not because I don't want to or I don't think it's gonna be fun or that I'm lame. I just have not gotten around to trying it or have been putting them off because of my motion sickness issue. I do have intentions of going on the mountains at some point in my life. I just um, haven't yet because I haven't been to Disney World that many times in my life and I just haven't had a chance to try them. After my last trip, talking to all of you guys on Instagram, I really, really wanna try Space Mountain because it looks like so much fun and I also think I'd really enjoy Big Thunder Mountain. So I'm dying to try the mountains and I just haven't at this point in my life and um, let's just all cross our fingers and hope that the next time I go to Disney World, my stomach can handle it because I am dying to go on them. Next attraction I have never actually been on is the Haunted Mansion. Again, let's all take a moment to uh, honor the fun that I have missed out on. I never went on the Haunted Mansion ride as a kid because my parents were never really big into Halloween and the whole ghost thing. So they, they never took us on the ride, so I just never had the desire to go on the ride as a kid. Um, and then as an adult, when I was going back, I would watch all of these vlogs and see everyone having such a great time on the Haunted Mansion rides. And I wanted to try it, but when I went on the two trips that I went as an adult, I just never, we never got around to going on it because we had so many other things planned. So Haunted Mansion, not for lack of trying or not for lack of interest, it's just I have never actually made it onto the Haunted Mansion ride. My next attraction confession is that I have never actually been on the Carousel of Progress and this one I have no excuse for because it's not a thrill ride. It's not my parents weren't into it so they just never took me on it. It's just I keep neglecting it and that is my own fault and I acknowledge that and it bums me out because I listen to the song from it all the time. I really do feel like it's one of those rides where everyone has to experience it at least once at some point in their life. I just for some reason haven't. If it comes down to it and I have to choose between the People Mover, Philhar Magic, and the Carousel of Progress, People Mover or Philhar Magic are probably gonna win and that's what's happened in the past and that is why I have never actually made it onto the Carousel of Progress. I promise, I promise, I promise. 
the next trip I go to Disney World, I will go on the Carousel of Progress. But until then, it remains at a distance. Next ride I've never been on is the Mission Space Ride at Epcot. This is the only ride on this list that I can honestly say with my whole heart that I have no intentions of trying. My motion sickness, I know, is never going to be able to handle it. The, the lower level or the more severe level. I feel like an attraction about space and space exploration is not enough of a draw for me to risk vomiting on fellow guests. So I can honestly say I probably won't try Mission Space at any point in my life, but I'm sure it's a really fun ride for people whose nausea can handle that. Okay, this next one may lose me some subscribers, but I have never actually been on the Tower of Terror. And it kills me because I've heard the theming is so incredible. And I like the dark side of the storyline. I feel like Tower of Terror, I'll be able to summon the courage for on my next trip or, or at some on some trip in the future. But as of right now, I haven't yet, but I'm working towards it. Tower of Terror along with the mountains are the attractions that I haven't done yet that I'm really, really interested in trying. Not just because everyone says they're amazing, but because of what the attractions actually are. I, I think that I would really like the Tower of Terror, and it bums me out that I haven't summoned the courage to get on it myself, but this is my attraction confession video, and this is me putting my thoughts out into the world, and hopefully they will help me summon the courage to get on these rides. Next attraction I haven't been on is the Rock and Roller Coaster for motion sickness reasons. Not because I have anything against Aerosmith, just purely any ride that goes 60 miles an hour can't be good for me. I just don't think we would mesh well. I would like to try it at some point in the future if my motion sickness gets better, but that's one of the ones where I'm like, I don't know if the draw is quite big enough for me to risk vomiting on other people, but we'll see. And the last attraction I have never actually been on is Expedition Everest. This is another one of the ones that bums me out that I've never actually done, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I love the theming and the storyline of Expedition Everest. I love the whole Yeti thing, but that part, I have watched point of views of Expedition Everest several times. Me sitting at my computer screen, I'm a little bit like, oh. I don't feel good watching this. And everyone I know that has motion sickness that has been on Expedition Everest say that it's one of the worst rides for keeping your stomach intact, but it just bums me out that it's such a severe ride for motion sickness when the theming is so like awesome and exciting. So I don't know if I'm going to make it on Expedition Everest, but I hope I will at some point in the future because it looks so awesome. That concludes my Rides I Have Never Been On confessional video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about all the things that I have deprived myself of throughout the years. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys have never been on any of these attractions to make me feel better about missing all of these iconic moments at Walt Disney World. If you like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every Wednesday. You can follow my daily adventures on Instagram and Twitter. Just updated my phone, so be expecting some Instagram stories in the future from me. Once again, thank you guys for your patience in me working out my schedule. Um, I promise, I promise I'm going to be better for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a magical day.